Hello everyone. I've got a great recipe for you and we're just going to jump right into this. I'm starting off by oiling my crock pot. Now you can use a plastic liner if you like. I don't like them to each his own. And then we are going to take about two pounds of chicken. You could even get away with three pounds, two to three pounds. Put that in your crock pot and I did cut that in strips and also one and a half bell pepper cut that into strips and then we are going to add a jar of picante sauce this is paste picante sauce and it is a 16 ounce jar and guys this is low carbs the whole jar is like 20 eight carbs and half of those are fiber. So this is a really good low carb recipe. And then I did put a little bit of water in the bottom just to get all of it out. You know, waste not, want not. If you wanna grab your crock pot and follow along with me, we're gonna add one tablespoon of chili powder. Three teaspoons of minced garlic. Yes, three teaspoons. Just trust the process, y'all. This was so good. Add the juice of one whole lime. And here's a tip for you. Put that lime in the microwave for 30 seconds. And do you won't believe it, the juice will just come flowing out of that lime. And that little trick works for lemons too. Let's give this a stir. Plug up that crock pot. Turn your crock pot on to high, and we're gonna cook this for two hours to start. It's been two hours, let's check on this. Oh, it's looking good. Now we're going to add one and a half cup of corn, and I'm just using the frozen corn. This is a 12 ounce bag, it works perfect. And next time, I'm gonna add beans to this too. Give this a stir, and we are going to let this cook for two more hours on high. That's a total of four hours on high. And voila, four hours later, we're done. You can put this on fajitas, or you can do like I did and put this on top of some nachos. Mm. Top it with some cheese and sour cream, and enjoy. 